Hello everyone, now in this video, I will let you know how to quickly get started with the most advanced ESP board ever. Yes, I'm talking about the ESP32. In this video, I won't be talking about its features, configurations, etc. Because I know you are here to learn how to upload codes on ESP board and nothing else. So let's quickly get started. So I have my Fire Battle board ESP32 from DF Robots. Now first of all, thanks to DF Robot for sending me this for my project purpose. So in this, I will let you know how to upload Arduino sketch on your Fire Battle board and I will also let you know how to do it for all other ESP32 boards like from Adafruit, SparkFun, Vemos, etc. So first of all, go to this page from DF Robots, link of which is attached in the description below. Then download the latest version of Arduino IDE. At this time, 1.8.5 is the latest version. So download and install it. After that, copy this link and open Arduino. Now go to File, Preferences and paste that link here. Then go to Tools, Board, Boards Manager. Here you will get one additional option of FireBittle ESP32. Install the 0.0.5 version here Initially, I tried installing the 7 and 6 version, but that didn't work for me. So I installed the 5th version and that really worked well. After installing, you will find the FireBittle ESP32 option in the boards. But if you see in the example, you will get these many codes for Wi-Fi and only single example code for BLE. Now to get multiple example codes and to get the boards for all other companies, go to this website. Link of this website is available in the description. Here also you need to download the latest version of the Arduino and after that you also need to download the Git. Download it according to your system's configurations. After installing that, open Git GUI and in that go to clone existing repository. Here first add source location which you will get it from this website only. For the target directory, first of all, go to the Arduino, Files, Preferences. Here, copy this sketchbook location and paste it in the target directory. After that, go to the website and copy this location also. After that, click on Clone button. It will take some time installing all the ESP32 boards and examples. After installation, reopen your Arduino IDE. Now go to Tools, Boards. Now you will observe all the ESP32 boards here. Select one of the board and now go to the file examples. And you will observe multiple examples of ESP32 and multiple examples of BLE. So you can now explore the sample codes to learn ESP32 much better. Now let's test this by uploading a blink code on my FireBittle board. So I will write down the code Select the proper board. Now select the COM port and click upload. So it's successfully uploaded and the code is perfectly running onto my board. So yeah, this was all about getting started with the ESP32. Subscribe my channel if you want to learn and make several new projects using ESP32 and yes, using ESP266 also. So wait for the next project until then explore and share with me Tech SMS.